Hey guys, how you guys doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch this video that I made for you guys. Today we're going to talk about alien. What is that? Could it be that you're wanted? Who knows? No, 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 no. It doesn't mean that you're wanted in any way, shape, or form, but it is very similar to what that term means in the legal world. Alias is meaning you have another name. Well, in the Linux world, you can assign an alias to your terminal or your shell uh, to actually create a shortcut for command that you would normally use. And you become more, uh, let's say, proficient in it, right? And you're starting to use terminal more and more and more. Well, you get sick and tired eventually of typing over the same names over and over and over again, same commands over and over and over again. So you come up with ways of devising a way to remember things, right? Outside of just remembering the command. But some of those can be very long. And that's why alias came to exist. Because a lot of people got tired of using those long current commands all the time. So why not make it something small, something shorter, like a couple of letters or whatever that you type, a couple of, you know, letter combinations, like an acronym or whatever, and it works. Well, to do that, to create an alias, you just simply type alias, followed by the name that you want to give it, the equal sign, and the command that you want to shorten it, okay? So, basically, let's go ahead and take a look at, the, at, at our terminal, and I can show you. Okay, so to show you the example, if you type in ls, this is what you get. There's a whole lot more to be shown there, like file permissions, date, time, file size, all that good stuff. Now, with the way this works, it doesn't show you that, right? To show everything, including the hidden files or your dot files, uh, you would type in this, right? And now you get all the file folders, the size, all of the actual documentation. But who wants to type that all the time? So you create the alias, and let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to type in clear, so get rid of everything, right? Type in ls so you can see what ls shows. So now we're going to alias the ls-la into a way that all you type is in the command and it'll just constantly show it. So, okay, alias, which that starts off for everything. If you want to make a, a something for like creating a program, writing a, uh, I mean, a directory, do an MKDR, alias MKDR, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the name, then whatever. So, so you type in alias, then you give this the name, and we're going to do LL for like long format, right? And then we're going to do equals, and then we're going to do open quote ls space dash la close quote and then hit enter and now we've changed that in the in this session we've changed that okay to do so every time we type in ll now we're going to get the long format as you can see this as i said i said a keyword there okay the keyword was for the session doing it this method is absolutely temporary. So the minute you close this out, and we'll flip over and show you, when I close this out, it'll no longer work. It'll go back to being like non-existent. All right. So let's go ahead and switch over and close out of this and try it and see if it works. It might be that I need to reboot also, if I'm remembering correctly. So we'll go ahead and make it bigger. We're going to increase the font way bigger we're going to type in clear we're going to get rid of everything and we're going to type in l see what it works and it it didn't do the it did not do the uh the full uh human readable format okay the 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 full where it gives you all the information this gives you this say you want to add the readable human format stuff. you would do alias same thing oh, let's get over here onto this thing alias l l h dash h and it's going to give you the human readable format and you're going to hit enter and now when you type in ll now you get all the information the date the file size all of that good stuff human readable format so there you have it. okay that's the difference between the ll and then as in the the regular just standard ls and then with human readable format flag given behind it so you could add that okay so now let's go ahead and do like, say, say one that you're commonly doing, but you always forget the command as a new guy, as a new to Linux user. Okay, so, as I said before, if you're in the terminal constantly doing things and you're trying to get more progressive in your growth with Linux and become more of a power user, 
um, a lot of one of the things you do a lot is you're constantly updating packages, you're updating programs, you're updating whatever, right? So you can actually simplify your update to be very simple and do an alias for it as well, which is really cool. A L I A S, right? And then you type in the name of the pseudo which, or of the update, which you want to be update, right? We're going to call it update, right? And then you're going to do equals open quote pseudo. And then you give it the term that you would, the, the command that you would use in uh, terminal, which is a, a, an art to pack man. Pacman dash S, capital S, Y, U, and then close quote. And you hit enter. And then now you have aliased the word update in, in your uh, bash script. Ugh. And now it's going to want to update. So now you got to put in your password to do your thing. Uh, obviously, it's the first time we're doing that. And it's doing that. And then uh, all those packages are going to update. And I don't want to do that. So I'm going to hit no to clear out. But there you go. That is exactly how you did. You, you can uh, alias the word, you know, update to update your operating system. And these are, command, these are commands that you would do most frequently, as I said in in the beginning these are commands that you would do most frequently that you're constantly always doing uh, to help your workflow better so that being said uh i would sit down and write all the con all the uh actual uh commands that you're constantly using every day in terminal if you are in terminal a lot and then try to consider making aliases for them as well i will show you the one for like if you're a uh, ubuntu or a debian based uh, that's using the app package manager how you can uh, alias that and so we'll go ahead and dive back over to the to the desktop here we're going to clear this out okay and then you're going to type in the same thing as what we did only instead of pacman you're going to want to type in sudo apt update now that is for update but say you want to because you can actually create a string here say you want to do not just only update by updating the databases and everything else or the um the ppas repos but you also want to maybe upgrade if there's a system upgrade so you would type in and and right and then you would type upgrade close quote oh no my bad Close quote. Now, I don't have App Package Manager installed here, so it's going to give me an error if I hit enter. But that is the command that you would want to type because you can make that into a string, what is known as a string. And then you could actually do a system update and upgrade to the latest dis uh, distribution that they have available using that command. That is how you can alias that if you're in that package manager. So, But you can find out, like, you can do it for Zipper, which has some of the same syntax. Uh, DNF has the same syntax as app. So if you're using the same syntax as that, that's going to work on for you all the time. That, my folk, my fine feathered friends, is exactly how you use alias and how well alias can be made to accommodate your workflow in Linux. I will tell you now, I want to jump over to the desktop to show you uh, where you can find them in distributions. Because, like I said, the ones that you type into the terminal are never applied all the time they're only for that session to do and make it a permanent session you simply go into your bash rc or your zh rc zsh rc which will be like here this one has both both shells on here so we're going to open this one up this is your zsh and let's make this font much bigger for you guys and you could add aliases anywhere in here you can come down here to the bottom you could add you know like, uh, you know, hashtag, you know, create a, I always, you know, create a section and then, and then type in aliases. And then you hit enter and then you would type in your alias, right? alias um and then ll equals 
close quote ls dash la dash h close quote and then you hit enter and you are and then you go up here you hit file then you hit save and now it is permanently there so whenever you file up whenever you fire up your terminal it should work let's make this font bigger clear it all yes me and my fat fingers ll and there you go and now it works all the time just like that so that is how you make it a permanent instance once you discover an alias that works for you that you like and you want it to last longer than the session that you were using go and do that edit your bash rc your zsh config whichever one and it will make it work every time that's it folks it's just that simple if you guys got any comments questions or suggestions leave a comment down below don't forget to hit that thumbs up button it only helps out the channel hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed and of course if you've been hanging around for a while in the wing in the wings and you're enjoying the video content that we're making then please by all means do me a favor join the channel you know it helps out or go over to buy us coffee and buy us coffee over there either way all the links you need to know are down in the description y'all keep doing what you do stay blessed stay happy stay stay safe keep on links and i will see you in the very next one bye